Now let's get a little bit of practice using the chi-squared table. So I'm asked to find chi-squared left and chi-squared right, which are the two critical values for a standard deviation with 95% confidence when n equals 10. So first I want to find degrees of freedom. Since that's n minus 1, I've got 10 minus 1, which is 9. I'm sure you're doing that in your head. Next, I want to know what alpha is, and since I'm using a 95% confidence interval, then 100% minus 95% is 5% or 0.05. Because it's a confidence interval, it's centered about the middle. Even though my shape is not symmetrical in bell shape, I am still finding the middle centered 95%, so I still need to cut alpha in half to get 0.025. And now I'm ready to find my two critical values, but let's go ahead and get a little bit of a picture of what we're trying to do. So my curve starts at zero, so here is my right skewed curve, as best I can draw, <laughs> right skewed curve. And I want to find my chi-squared right, which is going to have 0 0.025 in the right tail, because remember this curve finds area to the right. So. I've got my middle 95%, that means I also have a chi-squared left with 0 0.025 in the tail, the left tail. So I've got a middle 95%. My drawing might actually look like the left and the right look pretty same distance away, but it's a little bit different. So first we're gonna find chi-squared left. But remember, this area find, table finds area to the right. And so I want to find the area to the right of my chi-squared left. So I'm going to have to take the complement and get 0.95. I'm sorry, 9.75. I don't know where I got that from. So from this chi-squared left point, the area to the right, because that's how my table works, is 0.975. So I'm ready to use the table. So if you get out your chi-squared table, you're going to go to row 9, column point 975, so you're 3 in from the left side, and you should see 2.70. So 2.70 is the number of standard deviations away from 0. And now we're ready to find chi-squared right. This time when I want area to the right, that is exactly how this table works. So it's 0.025. I've kind of already got it listed. But I follow the same process. I'm going to go to row 9, column point 0 0.025. So instead of 3 in from the left, this time I'm 3 columns in from the right. And I find 19.023. So 19.023 is the number of standard deviations from the left. One of the things you should notice when you're looking up chi-squared left and right is that chi-squared right is always, always, always going to be larger than chi-squared left. Hopefully that makes sense. If we're starting at zero and we're moving down a number line, the value furthest on the number line will always be the largest number.